the Republican-led audit of votes in Arizona's Maricopa County is still ongoing and nowhere near d close to done. After about a month of counting, only about 500,000 of the 2.1 million ballots have been hand counted. The audit was paused all week. Why? Because the Coliseum where it was taking place was previously booked for high school graduations. It's set to start up back up on Monday. This audit has been anything but usual. From the hiring of the firm Cyber Ninjas, which had zero experience in election audits, to using microscopes and UV lights to examine ballots for non-existent watermarks. To my very personal favorite, examining ballots for bamboo fibers. No, really. But even with all of that, this stop the steal audit strategy is finding support outside of Arizona. The Washington Post reporting that in Michigan, New Hampshire, and even California, there have been Republican calls for similar audits. Quote, in emails, phone calls, and public meetings, Trump supporters are questioning how their elections are administered and pressing public officials to revisit the vote count. Oh, great. Joining me now is the author of that piece, Rosalind Helderman, political investigations and enterprise reporter for The Washington Post, and MSNBC columnist and editor Hayes Brown, who wrote an opinion piece looking at that security firm titled Cyber Ninjas, which is just a funny name. Uh, the article is titled Arizona's Audit of the 2020 Election is a Con Artist Dream. So, Hayes, how is the audit a grift in your view? How isn't it a grift is the better question, because uh, like you said, Cyber Ninjas is a firm based out of Florida that has absolutely no experience with elections. Uh, its founder, Doug Logan, uh, is someone who after the 2020 election was out there posting conspiracy theories on his Twitter account. He later deleted those. But he's someone who saw an opportunity in Arizona and took it. And you know what? Props to him in a weird way, because I feel like the really good con artists are the ones who can see someone and are sure, like, no, I can convince this person, this skeptic, about whatever lie I'm telling. But the great ones see the people who want to believe whatever it is that's coming out of their mouth. And in this case, the Arizona Senate GOP really wanted to believe that he was the person and his firm were were able to conduct this audit, uh, despite mounting evidence that no, they really are not able. Uh, the Senate, the president of the Arizona Senate, uh, she has doubled down on this firm. She's trying to claim now that despite all the wackiness we're seeing, everything's going exactly the way that she wanted it to, uh, that the whole thing wasn't about finding fraud per se, but about you know checking to make sure the election went well. Despite the fact that, no, that is not what anyone who's actually been on the floor there seems to be saying was the point. I mean, for me, it's just you planned an event uh, when there was an actual carnival taking place outside. I just feel like that was poor planning and, you know, foresight. <laughs> but that's my editorializing. But Rosalind, is this an organized effort by Republican activists to spread the Arizona audit strategy to other states or, as Hayes calls it, a grift? I mean, I think that there is um, some of both. There's a financial motivation. There are uh, various groups, including anchors from uh, OAN, the pro-Trump uh, news organization, who are raising money for this. Uh, but, you know, Donald Trump himself, we have reported, is really fixated on this Arizona process. He is talking about it constantly. He is asking for updates about it multiple times a day. And the reason why he's doing that is he believes, and a lot of his fans believe, it's the first domino. We're going to see this in Arizona, and then we're going to see it all over the country, and it's going to vindicate his false claims that he actually won the election. This was the greatest fear of elections officials, including Republican elections officials, who I spoke to as this process started in late April. And now we see it really happening. Um, my colleague Amy Gardner and I found examples uh, just this past month, just in the month of May, seven months after the election in counties uh, in multiple states uh, where you have ordinary people calling their local officials and demanding an Arizona style audit of their own election results. What states are they focusing on, Rosalind, in terms of how Trump sees the strategy to overturn the election? So it starts in Maricopa County, which is just one county in Arizona. 
And then what? Because Arizona doesn't do it math wise. Sure. I mean, if you talk to Trump or if you look at his statements, he's focusing on the big swing states. He's talking Arizona. He's talking Georgia. He's talking Pennsylvania, uh, where we have actually seen this bubbling up from local activists, interestingly, has been in small places and really Republican controlled places. Uh, and what appears to be the strategy is, uh, you know, this is local people focusing on counties where they believe uh, they might find friendly local officials. Uh, and they're really, um, you know, they're still uh, fixated on this false and disproven theory that Dominion, a uh, Dominion brand voting machines could have somehow flipped votes. So they're focused even on Republican counties that use Dominion machines with the uh, goal, it appears, of trying to come up with some vulnerability or anomaly that they have spotted in the Dominion machines, even in places that voted for Trump, that they can then argue, oh my goodness, if this happened in a Republican county in uh, North Michigan, it might have happened all over the country.